if you're going through a breakup, heartache, sadness, grief, being alone, you're at the right spot. This may not be the best quality video, but I'm here to tell you something and to tell you one thing. Allow this pain. Allow it to run through your veins and let it feed into you. Feel it. Don't let it go. Don't hide from it. Because you know what happens when you try to run from pain? It comes back and it eats you alive. It may not come back, come back now, but it will come back in the time where you're speaking to someone and you'll lash out for no reason. And then you ask yourself at the end of the day, hey, why was I rude to this person? Well, it's your body just trying to survive. It's your body trying to say, hey, I f I'm feeling this pain and you're sliding it under the rug. That's not how it works. I'm sitting here hor sorry, wholeheartedly and very vulnerable because I have gone through something so crazy that I would have never imagined. I'm so extremely proud to be a single mother of a one-year-old baby at 22 years old. And I'm not going to label myself that because you know what? I'm so proud to be raising a daughter on my own. And I know there's a lot of negative, negative connotations to, you know, being a single mother and this, that, this, that. No, stand firm in your truth. You're raising a whole human and you have to be proud of yourself. No matter how much pain you go through, no matter how much suffering you go through, this video is for you. You have to stand in your truth. You have to feel it. You have to raise your mama stock. You know what I mean? Do things that make you feel good. Do things... You know what? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm the happiest person in the world. I'm sitting here coming from a time in my life where I feel like I'm going through the most suffering. And like I said, I'm being vulnerable because I want this channel to reach every single female out there that is going through pain. That is trying to go through a transformation. That is trying to raise themselves up and just raise the bar a little bit. You know, we're not perfect humans and we have to accept that. Like I've said in my other videos, we're not perfect. We have to get through it, you know? We have to be able to, to accept all of those flaws, accept all of the negative qualities in us and use that, to our, use that to our advantage. I know this is maybe different than than the rest of my videos. And like I said, this is a little bit low quality, <laughs> but I'm recording this on my computer and I'm making it very easy because I am reflecting. I'm reflecting here on this journal tonight about all of the things that have happened today. And hear me out. I'm going to tell you a little story and whoever's watching this, I hope that this touches you. And if you relate to the story, I want you to give this a thumbs up and comment down below because I know that plenty of women that get pregnant are either single mothers or are either, you know, with their loved one. But there are a lot of single mothers out there and this is for you. So my first note here is to embrace the pain and use it as fuel. Every day that you wake up, use this shit as motivation. Wake up and be like, hey, you know what? Things might not have worked out. But at the end of the day, I have my daughter. I have my son. I'm happy. I'm grateful. Actually, here, using gratitude. So wake up in the morning and write three things that you're grateful for. For example, I'm grateful that I woke up today breathing. I'm grateful for the sun and to get vitamin D. And I'm grateful to see my daughter smiling and looking back at me and being proud of me. Because you know what? I wake up every single day and I give it my all. And you should be proud of that too. The fact that you wake up in the morning, you feed your baby, you take her to school, you go to work, you study, you go to college, whatever it is, be proud. Stand firm in your truth. The second note here is do things that you love and things that make you happy. Whether that be going to do your nails, whether that be going to socialize with a couple of girlfriends or going to the beach by yourself and listening to an audiobook. Do whatever makes you happy. Do whatever is going to put a big smile on your face because you deserve it. And I deserve it too. The third one is knowing that you're absolutely worth of everything that this world has to offer. Your self-image is so important, ladies. I can't express that enough. If you go through something and your self-image is, 
is low and it's like oh you know what i think i'm a failure i think you know i don't think i deserve things in life and you know where that's going to take you where it's going to take you it's going to be like you you have this amazing opportunity in front of you you have this amazing school that you go to or this job opportunity or this new business venture that you have and then all you're going to think about is you know i'm not worth i'm not i'm not worth it you know i'm not, i don't think i will succeed in that your mental model of yourself matters so wake up in the morning and say to yourself i'm a badass i can do anything that i put my mind to because you can it's scientifically proved that your brain doesn't know the difference between right or wrong your brain doesn't know you know you can wake up in the morning whether whether it's true or not you can be like hey I'm going to have this X, Y, Z amount of money and I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to fulfill myself and I'm going to reach all of the goals and destinations that I have written down for myself. Third point or fourth point. Fourth point is set goals for yourself and set goals hard enough and picture the failures so that you know what it feels like. Obviously, it's good to picture goals and it's good to have that set you know, destination in mind, but you want to tell yourself, hey, like, what is, what is going to happen if I don't reach this goal? You know, what's going to happen if I don't do this amount of work? What's going to happen if I don't do this X, Y, Z? Picture that failure and that in itself is going to motivate you. Goal, um, sorry, point number five is to allow yourself to feel that pain. Allow that pain to fuel you, ladies. I know a lot of us see pain as pain as something that we want to run away from. Because when we're younger and we feel pain, we're like, ooh, you know, we don't we don't want to do that again. We don't want to feel that again. But this pain is gonna help you grow. It's gonna help you strive and it's gonna help you blossom like the damn beautiful butterfly that you are. I'm gonna work my absolute best to deliver all of these amazing messages to empower you and to help you be a better human because I want to improve myself and I want to show myself and prove to myself that I can do it and I know that I can because it's all in here. It's all how you vision yourself, see yourself, and think about yourself. So I'm going to add a sixth point here. Listen to affirmations that make you feel good about yourself. So if you, in the morning when you wake up or when you go to sleep, which is something that I do, I put affirmations that say, I'm confident, I'm happy, I'm successful, I'm pain-free, this, that, this, that. Look them up on YouTube, put them on. It's all going straight in your subconscious mind, baby. Seriously. I want to tell you, pain is good. Pain is good. And this video is very different because there are many other videos saying, you know what, if you, if you feel pain, go watch a movie, go eat a donut, go do this, go do that. You know what? No. Let's flip the script. Let's be stronger. Let's be wiser. You know what I mean? Let's be a little bit more. Let's push it. I know we're in pain and I know we're hurting and I know there are a lot of women that feel the, the same. But you can do this. This is good for you. You're going to look back and be like, oh, oh my goodness. You know, be able to have that introspection to look at yourself in the future and look back at this point and be like, oh my goodness, what, what was that? That was just a little blimp in my life. We're going to go through many painful moments, guys. We have to realize this. And this is not going to be the first of many. There's going to be way more to come in many different forms and variations. So I want to sit here and congratulate you for being here. Congratulate you for getting up in the morning, getting some sun, drinking some water, putting a face mask on, you know, doing your hair a little bit, whether it's your hygiene, whether it's taking a cold shower or working out, doing what makes you feel good. Because seriously, we're here to be an impact. You know, this generation, we're here to be an impact. We're here to be a change and to be different. And I'm going to be back next week. I'm going to be posting this video and I'm going to be back next week posting more things on workouts, how to optimize your hormones. And you can always feel free to message me or put in the comments below um, videos that you, you would like for me to put because this is a very vulnerable video and it's something that is close to my heart and something that I'm going through, but <laughs> this is nothing. This is nothing compared to what's ahead in life. 
it's just a small blimp guys like you know what it, it's it's look at the bigger picture let's let's put on our perspective glasses on and let's look at the bigger picture and say you know what we have our beautiful family we woke up we have arms we have legs we are able to talk we're able to hear and see and smell and all of the beautiful things that life has to give so i want to wish you an awesome blessed night and this video really comes from my heart because i want to be able to help you guys and i want you guys to be able to relate and if you and if you do relate to this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because i promise i'm going to be investing in more things that will be able to produce more quality videos as well as helping me out to invest in myself so i can so i can produce better content for you guys but like i said guys keep your head up keep your crown up and pain is good guys pain is so 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 good for you you may not see it right now but trust me trust me trust me i'm here with you i feel you and i'm sending you all love and support to all you beautiful creatures of this earth and i will see you guys next week